Hey, make sure y'all like this video, man. I'm gonna show y'all how to save VC, not waste attributes, and not to ruin your build, man. So make sure you drop a like. It helps out the video a lot. Helps it get seen. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. It's supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? It's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man. I'm finna show y'all the best defensive badges in uh, 2K23 for, you know, all positions. Every time I play 2K with comp players, they have their badges wrong. So if it's comp people, even when I play with randoms, badges are always wrong, bro. And it has been since I've been playing 2K. I've been playing since the first 2K, but since 2K14, people always have the wrong badges on. So with this video, this will help y'all out, man. Now, Interceptor. Decent badge, bro. It's a lot of deflections. It's not really, uh, you know, it's not the top tier defensive badges, but it is something you definitely want to invest in. It's a lot of deflections. Now, bronze and silver, uh, but with gold is when you will start to see gold and Hall of Fame. You'll start to see a lot more different change. So if you can afford it on your uh, main ball handler builds, then you know you know the bronze and silver will do. Um, even the silver as the lock, you know, it'll do. But if you can go gold and Hall of Fame, you definitely want to do that. Um, if you have enough badge points. Now defense is a is a category that requires a lot of badges, so you might be able to only rock it as silver. So. You can get interceptions with 25 steel, bro, especially when your player is bigger. Um, it just happens. So basically, you know, max it out if you can. But I'm going to let y'all know other badges that are more important than interceptive glove, for instance. Whatever build you have, max glove. Hall of Fame glove is broken. Um, I recommend for main ball handler builds, you know, bronze, silver, even gold. Gold is when you'll really start to notice a major difference especially hall of fame when it's like broken you know so if you do want to go into that you know go into that for your lock max uh for for your main guard builds maxed and for the centers too eh, you know you're usually just going for bump steals you know it could be more on uh bronze lower tier but even even people who do a lot of screens and pops it all depends on the comp level you play but probably mid-tier for, for, for centers and stuff, you know. Probably somewhere in the middle. Clamps, max. Every build, bro. Whatever you get it on, you're, you're going to want it max, bro. For the main ball handler build, you're going to want it on bronze or silver. You know, you're going to want it, man. Because to stop people from getting dunks, bro, you have to cut them off. And clamps helps you cut people off. Clamp breaker is very OP. And um, you need clamps. So for a lockdown build... You have to max it out um i would suggest gold or hall of fame but if you can't do that you need at least silver as a lockdown build uh gotta be really gold uh for pg bro you know bronze and silver will do you know i get a lot of stops uh on my guard builds my big guard builds with bronze and silver and it's working good for me because i know how to cut people off at the right time and for center builds bro you definitely want to max it out you have to be 6'9 to even get clamps so pro tip man if you're not making your center 6'9 if you're going like 6'10 or 6'11 bro just go seven foot because you're not going to get clamps you might as well get way more height there's no point if you got a 6'10 6'11 center you probably messed up your build but um it ain't it ain't worth it you might as well go big boy you feel me ankle braces worthless ankle breaker kind of works ankle braces is not even worth investing to for no build box out beast um it works but the rebounding in this game is so trash that uh it like bounces far away you know and there's a lot of worms that be happening so you definitely need this to help you out you definitely need this to help you out um it's most like one of the most important center badges so you don't get wormed <clears throat> But y'all y'all have to be aware, man. When you box out people, bro, you're gonna have to run run for the ball. You gotta get your reaction up, man. Cause a lot of uh rebounds, they they go long. You're gonna have to actually communicate with your teammate. At least the secondary guy, probably the spot up. 
or someone else be like, hey, them long rebounds, like run at them. You have to like team rebound type stuff because even when you're boxing them out, it's not just gonna come off the board like how it probably should. It like goes crazy. So yeah, for a point guard, nah. For um a lock, I, I wouldn't invest in, in box out beast either. Brick wall does work. So you uh definitely would wanna max it. You definitely would wanna max brick wall because um, the offensive movement is really bad. So you need screens, um, especially on the 5v5 settings. And please stop making builds that can't shoot, guys. Make it so much harder on you. Seriously, it's time to grow up. It's 2022. For a guard, no investment. For a lock, no investment unless they do a, a, a test that a brick wall significantly drains the adrenaline when the lock is guarding them and you hold an L2 on them. If it like really does that, which, you know, I don't know if they're going to test that or, you know, um, like putting a brick wall on, on your lock just starts draining their stamina even more, which would be so bad. Uh, that's the only way I can see it go for locks. Um, if any of y'all want to test that, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. And also let me know any of your other feedback about these badges, bro. But yeah, so none for the uh, spot up lockdown. But yeah, max on center. Now, now look. This badge depends on your comp level. You don't even need this if you're like playing like bots, but when you start to play better people, it's definitely a badge that you'll need to invest into. For guards, you won't really need it. Like you playing park and stuff. You, you, you won't even be able to get the badge to be honest, probably. For a lockdown, again, you could get away with not even having this badge. You playing just a bunch of park bots. When you play comp, you gonna need this. It's gonna help you out. It's gonna help you get ghost contests, etc. Ghost contests still happen a lot, and um, it's your intimidator for the challenger. And uh, the same with the center too, bro. For the center, it's not as important. But yeah, definitely max out. It depends on your who you're playing. For guards, you won't really need it. For your lockdown, you will need it. Center, eh, like lower tier type stuff. Pick Dodger, you won't need as a center, bro. If if it's really that big an issue, just switch, run switch. For pick Dodger, bro, now look, you can not have this badge and then save badge points for, for, for other things, but you have to be able to communicate. So for your guard, you won't need this, unless that's like your style. But if you got someone else that can guard ball too, just play sides and just switch. Especially with how nerfed um, offense is, um, you just switch, bro. And you, you should be fine to not even use this badge for a center. Now for a lock, if you want to, you know, be more hands-on and really fight through or have it, you know, make sure you got it like silver and up, man, to be honest. I don't know, man, pick dodger never really works, but you know, you can invest into it what you want, or you can just play sides, bro. I Long ago, bro, I, I've had enough of trying to rely on this, and I just run sides. So I don't have to even fight through someone trying to exploit and ruin the game. Y'all let me know what y'all use pick dodger on and, and your, your feedback with it. Now, rebound chaser for centers, you definitely gonna wanna max it out, man. Very important. For lockdowns, mm, you can still get boards without it, bro. You know, but you know, if you have it like silver, bronze, it'd be cool. It help you out a lot, even gold, if you if you lock like that. You know, but other than that, you know, yeah, you know. Now for your main ball handler, you don't even need this. A lot, a lot of rebounding is running and going to get the ball. Um, knowing what to do. I get rebounds on a 25 rebound all the time, bro. Like, it's like crazy. Like two to three a game because I know the positioning and how to go get stuff faster than other people. And I can get them extra boards, man, with, with no rebound chaser. So for a guard, you know, you don't really need this, but if it's your style and you really want to invest in it, like say you ISO in and you pass it, they might break and then you box them out, get that board. You know, you can still do that with a low board, but it'll be harder. But if you have like rebound chaser, it could be really OP, especially on the, these big builds. You can make these six nine high all, you know, you, you can do some real cheesy stuff, man. All depends on your style. Now, pogo stick is definitely something you're gonna wanna max out or at least have silver plus 
for a center okay it works especially with the adrenaline bars and all that you know it's it's gonna help you out now for a lockdown silver wouldn't go higher and for a guard i wouldn't even touch pogo stick unless it's your style like you're doing 1v1s and all that and of course you need the pogo stick menace waste of a badge garbage don't use it i promise you bro i've used it on so many builds I even seen a video from uh, Toots. I think I think he did the video. He said it was ass too. So don't even fuck with it, bro. Post lockdown, pointless for all builds unless uh, you're playing one v ones or two v twos, and then that's when you'll want to invest. In. And I don't really know what level, so y'all y'all let me know down below. Chase down artists, okay? It does work, okay? They nerf blocks. I'm very glad that they nerf blocks. It's very unrealistic and unrewarding to the better player who earned himself getting open but now chase down bro i would not invest into this unless you have a gold plus i think that's where you start to notice you'll get some more blocks especially if you learn how to block aggressive block and stuff gold plus and i think you'll notice something so if you have the extra badges go for it man especially on the center i think you should do gold plus because you can help out your team and do some game changing stuff with this bad. But if you're not noticing it, it helping, forget it, bro. The same with lock. Uh, I don't even think it's worth investing in unless like you can get it gold. But if you can't, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even bother with it. And for a guard, don't even invest nothing in it because I haven't noticed nothing. Uh, anchor, you definitely want max, especially in a game like this where paint defense is broken. Um. Silver seems to be the one, like the best bang for your buck. But if you can get that bill on gold and Hall of Fame, you're gonna want this. This is the best, like center, uh, main ball handler, uh, and lockdown like badge. It's the best defensive workhorse. Max it out on every build you got. But who knows if workhorse is actually working? You know, because overall they made the games where you save the ball more. So it's like, is it really working? You know, is it working a lot? I, I would recommend those second chance points matters. Even though the offense is, is, it always reacts way faster than the defense. When the offense loses the ball, I don't know. It's really weird, but I, I, I would say max it out, man. And yeah, man, y'all let me know your thoughts. Y'all make sure y'all follow my Twitch. Link is in the description. Make sure you go to the gym eight days a week, drink a gallon of water a day. And click on one of these two videos, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.